this project touched my soul in ways that go beyond the words. Tram, travelling up and down Leith Wall, carrying passengers, and knowing those people are moving because of the hard work that we've all done together. We're all here to achieve one vision, one dream. We're about half or two thirds of the way through the test now. Unfortunately, it's gone well so far, and it's just a great team effort from everybody. The tram project, truly, it's an economic project. I really believe in development and growth of public transport. We can see across the line the impact that it's already having. Brownfield sites, New Haven and Leith area of the city are now being developed for housing at an incredible rate. And a huge number of new businesses have opened up here on Leith Walk. And that is absolutely because of the economic impact that tram has. It's great vision from the city of Edinburgh. They're actually looking 40 years ahead. It was really key to have a quality contractor undertaking the job who had experience of delivering projects in what's a difficult urban environment. And I think that that's really helped us to get through a lot of the challenges that we faced, which have been pretty unprecedented. The beauty of the project is how the team collaborate among different departments. So design with construction, also with commercial. Working together under the same roof helps overcome problems and challenges going through the most densely populated area and in really tight environments, literally working on people's front doors. There were so many factors that had to be taken into consideration. Working in a city environment, you're affecting a lot of people's lives. It wouldn't be such a challenge if you were to build a tram in the middle of a desert. We have learned from the past, from people that were involved in the previous phase. We have changed and we have improved things. The project was set out in 17 phases to split up the route and allow the city to keep running. There was an awful lot of coordination with the traffic management panel and the client and all the stakeholders because we had to understand their needs as things changed. The logistic hub was to help businesses and residents move any goods in and out of their premises. We've had about 24 and a half thousand engagements, 75,000 deliveries. In terms of local employment, we've provided 40 opportunities and that has always been key to support local people and community. There's been big challenges put in front of us from COVID to Brexit and lately the war in Ukraine. That puts a lot of stress and strain on the supply chain. It's been adaptable, flexible and thinking on your feet. Pressurised day to day, week to week, constant issues to deal with seven days a week sometimes. And that ability to adapt on the ground in real time or remote on the phone on a weekend on an evening all contributed that the works kept going, the traffic kept flowing. I feel really proud about the team, the fact that we are a cluster of cultures, different backgrounds. We've all brought our expertise, and it's that diversity has been really beneficial for the project. Together, we've shown what can be done in a complex city. A new commuting route, bringing communities together. Being able to travel through the city in a greener way, bring a lot more tourists to see additional parts of Edinburgh. You can see businesses popping up every week. It's going to become a very trendy and interesting area. It's going to attract business, tourism. It'll make a difference and we've started to notice it. Scottish people are great. I had a lot of fun in Edinburgh. Love the city. My city for the last three and a half years. Everybody who's worked on it should be really proud that because of what we've delivered, there will be a level of confidence in delivery again in the future. That is so important. We're facing unprecedented challenge because of the climate emergency. People have to have confidence that we can deliver and that's what everybody here has done.